All right. Well, the big uh, annual energy event is coming up just right around the corner. In fact, we're just a few days away. And, um, well, let's find out some more, I guess, details about the event. Greg, how are you doing today? And what's happening in, in, in the world of NAEP preparation? Well, we, uh, we're, we're doing fine, and we're, we're all set to go. And it, it starts, um, the big thing with NAEP this year, it's the 25th anniversary, and the interesting thing about that is when the, the idea came up way back in the early 1990s it was, it was something that uh, really there were a lot of and it, a small event um, and, you know, but it's crowded it's the premier industry a year every year and uh, it used to be just a couple of days well now we refer to it as next week and there's activities beginning on Monday all the way through the, the ending uh, of the show. So we're looking forward to it. I think we're going to have a big, pretty good-sized crowd, uh, about 12,000 attendees uh, in the neighborhood of about 700 exhibitors. Um, so we're, we're excited. We're ready to go. Uh, in the past, uh, the Weston Galleria Hotel... Uh, has, has been a place. I just named that one off the top of my head. Where, where's it going to be held this year? Well, at Western Galleria, that's where it started way back when. But over the last many years, it's been at the George R. Brown Convention Center. And we take up uh, a pretty good good part of that, that convention center. It, as I said, it's grown over the years. That's what I thought. I wonder why that uh, Galleria stuck out in my head. Now, generally, or I should say... Yeah, no, 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 uh, normally, you guys do two big two big events a year. Uh, one uh, coming up here in just a few days, February, but then also you do one uh, in the fall. Uh, this is the bigger one of the two, isn't it? Well, this is the big one. This was where it started way back when, and the, the other one is a summer that's done in August, and it's a little smaller, a little bit more quaint. You know, it's it's uh, kind of concentrate more in the regional. Uh, plays that are going on, but but it's it's uh, you know tried some regional areas, uh, Denver, Pittsburgh. It's quite a bit of activity, but we're back and doing big names, and then uh, the following that's what we refer to as summer, in, which is done in August. I know a lot of times I attend the. Um the Williston Basin Petroleum Council every year. Of course, I'm located up in the Bakken, and uh, every year, you know, people are talking about the NAEP conference, the things that are going on down there, because we're the next big one up here in the Bakken. You know this. There's a lot of people that travel from uh, um, the Bakken down to this conference, and uh, are, are, are you expecting, you know, all all countries, all states, just kind of talk about the attendees. you got 12,000 people coming. Which, which, where, where, where are they coming in from? Definitely all of the big plays in the, the United States, including the, the offshore, all the plays in the continental United States. And then uh, we had Smith National uh, participation as well. Um, I, I don't have a list of from which countries, but, but that part of our of our, uh, our show has grown over the years as well because we definitely have an international presence. Yeah, and I do predict it'll probably be, you'll see a bigger global presence with uh, Continental Resources, for example, with their big announcement selling crude oil into China. You've got um, uh, Chinese uh, government investing, I think, $84 billion into West Virginia's energy. I, I just, there's so much global connectivity now in the world of energy yeah. that is just, I, I think it's just going to continue to grow and grow on a global level. Okay, so let's talk about uh, one of the things that uh, I absolutely love about the oil and gas industry, and this is the reason that I was hooked from the get-go, is you know, going to all these little communities, and you can see the, how they built the towns, how, how they really allowed an opportunity for giving back to the local communities, whether it's the local soccer team or the community center, whatever it might be. Now, you're in Houston, and there was a hurricane going on down there. Are you guys going to be kind of connecting the two this year, the, the fact that the oil industry gives back better than anybody and then also the hurricane? Is that, is that going to be uh, kind of put together this year at all? Well, 
tell you, as part of our, uh, we do uh, a big charities luncheon, an industry luncheon on a Thursday. And basically what we do for that is we get the industry and get contributions and we pick two or three of the char- charities that really help uh, get our veterans transition transition back into uh, civilian life. And, and so generally, that's what we do there. But this year, with Harvey, which affected the, the Houston area and, and, and surrounding areas, we also contributed to the Red Cross, which was, they had a separate part that they designated strictly for Harvey victims. And so we included that as well. But the industry as a whole has always done a good job to try to reach out and help Well, we have our flooding issues and wildfires up here, but uh, I, it's it, definitely nothing to the magnitude which you guys experienced either at Katrina or with uh, Hurricane Harvey. But um, you know, point is still taken very well. Uh, let's uh, kind of, I guess, kind of wrap up a little bit here with one of my uh, favorite topics: the economic development portion, the economic impact, and the sponsors, those people that allow this thing to happen. And uh, those people who take away things from it. And talk to me a little bit about the economic development, the impact maybe that uh, you guys are going to have within the industry or locally. And then, you know, be feel free to mention some of your partners. I mean, these guys pony up the money to make this stuff happen, so they deserve it. Yeah, well, NAPE, NAPE itself is a partnership between uh, several industry organizations, the American Association of Professional Landmen, which is really who started uh, the NAPE. Uh, in the very beginning, uh, IPAA, which is the Independent Petroleum Association of America, the Society uh, for Exploration Geophysicists, and the American Association of Petroleum Geologists. Those are the partners of me. And, um, uh, but as far as the, the impact itself, you know, just, you know, I can imagine in the Houston area, uh, you know, there's, there's quite a few, you know, the highest located downtown and some of the other uh, regional hotels. And, and, and I know downtown Houston looks forward to this event every year, uh, I, I, just from talking to you. And I have to Houston quite often, you know. But, yeah, it's, uh, again, it's a, it's an event that, that when you're in, you're, you're in the oil and gas industry, it's kind of has become, uh, you know, you have to make it. You, you have to be there. You see everybody you want to see in those couple of days walking up and down those aisles. I'll tell you that. But, uh, but anyway, yeah, it's, 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 we're excited. We're ready to go for next week. All right, let's uh, wrap up here, kind of give some good details, some of the fine points, that sort of thing. Maybe if, if you mentioned a few of the uh, highlighted speakers or companies that are going to be there demonstrating that sort of thing. Kind of uh, just really let people know what, what they can expect and uh, who some of the highlights are, some of the, I guess, details when it comes to the, the event. Right. Well, the, the, again, it starts on Monday. You can, you can begin registration on Monday. And IPAA has, a, has an oil and gas uh, course. And then Tuesday, there's some other uh, SEG, AAPL, there's some different workshops for industry people uh, going into Tuesday. Wednesday, it, we have the, uh, the, uh, the Global Business Conference in luncheon, and that's a, that's a, that really has grown. And we've got some pretty, pretty big speakers, Doug Lawler, the CEO of Chesapeake, and Will Van Lowe, the CEO of Quantum Energy, and we've got, that, that's a full day. That's 9.30 to just about 5 o'clock in the evening on Wednesday. And that's a really, really good event. And then uh, Thursday, the exhibition hall opens up, and that, that begins first thing in the morning. Then, again, that, that Make Charities Luncheon that I referred to earlier in our conversation, that's 
starts at 11 o'clock. And, uh, uh, Tom Brokaw is going to be the speaker. We've, over the years, had some pretty big-name speakers, and I think we're, we're looking forward to having him. And um, and then Friday, we close it out, and we going to have a big, uh, this is something new that we started at last year's summer night, and we're going to have a big drawing at the end of May, around 1 o'clock on Friday, and we raffle off to all participants. Uh, when you when uh, participate, put your name in the little, the little box, and we draw for Ford F-150. So, and we, for summer night, we did it with just an ATV, and it was exciting. So I, I can imagine what this is going to be like on Fox. But that's it. Again, it's a full week of events, and um, uh, we, you know, again, just to say we're looking forward to it. And uh, one more time, what's the uh, website and uh, and and that sort of thing? I guess for people, if they if they want to check it out here over the weekend. Yeah, and you know, I don't have the specific website, but just type in me, and it's going to come up. It, it, you know, that that's the first thing you'll see uh, come up and click on it, and then you can navigate around. It's it's pretty pretty easy website to get around. But um, if you just type in Nate N A P E, it'll come up. Sure thing, and we'll have that uh, links at the Crude Life as well. And I'm here right now, and I'm seeing you just register to attend right there on the website, the exhibit, the schedule, the whole thing. So, uh, any any final thoughts you might have? Any any anything we left out? Anything you want to reiterate here? Uh, I, I don't think so. You know, without getting too much into the weeds, but um, uh, we, you know, we're just we're ready to go. We're excited. We got a, a pretty good attendance, considering the industry has has. You know, been off for the last few years, um, but we we feel that that's a that's pretty good number, uh, considering the kind of climate of our industry. Um, but you got to come down, come down and see it. it it's it's going to be a good one. I'll tell you that.